and haunts. Which is the greatest keyboard of all time. Oh, PewDiePie. <laughs> you just had to say that, didn't you? About three months ago, PewDiePie announced his latest product collaboration, a mechanical keyboard and a mouse that I didn't buy because I don't care about mouse. <laughs> now, now, naturally, as a 19 plus two year old, I was pretty interested. And by interested, I meant I rushed to the nearest internet browser, flipped and slammed in the website, mashed in my bank account details and sat waiting patiently for the board to arrive. <laughs> Fast forward about two weeks, my keyboard arrives, my excitement is immeasurable, and my fingers... My fingers are ready. Now you might be wondering, with glasses, you use custom keyboards all day, why are you excited about this one? Also, you said you got this keyboard three months ago, why are you only making this video now? Well, I'll tell you. I'm excited not only because PewDiePie said this about the keyboard, roll the clip. The greatest keyboard of all time. But because of the incredible, and I mean the incredible product listing that Ghost Keyboards gave for this board. <clears throat> the PewDiePie A1 keyboard is our flagship model for those who only demand <laughs> the best. We start with a solid block of cast aluminium carved on a CNC machine, add on our premium MX switches, double shot PBT keycaps, pre-lube stabilizers, Bluetooth wireless 5.0, textured WAST, and you start to understand why Ghost Keyboards are the best value on the market. This is my favorite part, right? Now you can get an ultra premium keyboard without the ultra premium price tag. <sighs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I call shooting yourself in the foot. Because for the remainder of this video, I'm going to purely evaluate this keyboard based on the description they gave. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. The case is high profile with relatively thin uniform bezels and curved edges, a matte black finish, a bunch of logos, recessed USB port, and most importantly, four rectangular rubber feet. The external finish is fine. It's not quite Korean sparkly, but it is grainy, but consistently grainy, so it's all right. Unfortunately, they decided to throw away all that consistency internally, choosing instead to sport scratches, uh, peeling, very obvious machining marks, which confused me because I, I thought this was a premium keyboard. This is a tray mount case, meaning the PCB and the plate screw into mounting posts on the bottom of the case. But before you decide to throw in your aftermarket PCBs and plates, don't, it doesn't support them. Coupled with the aluminium plate, you have yourself exactly one firm typing experience which is admittedly the same as most pre-bought keyboards, so yeah. I'm not not gonna call this premium, but this is very obviously a $50 aftermarket case, so I'm really hoping there's $180 worth of value in the left of this keyboard. Spoilers, there's not. Ooh, yeah. Moving on to their premium Cherry MX switches, of which there was a choice of reds, blues, and browns, and I chose browns, obviously. <laughs> Now, ignoring my own biases, these RGB Cherry MX Browns are very scratchy, which does not at all help accentuate their very small tactile bump. Now, I know before you say it, this isn't just a case of Cherry MX Browns bad. <laughs> In the last year, I've picked up retooled Browns and Hyperglide Browns that are distinctly smoother than these. These also have incredibly bad spring brings, so uh, yeah, premium. Here's a sound test. As per their description, the PewDiePie keyboard comes with pre-lubed stabilizers, so this should be good. I don't believe this. Okay. Oh, please, please. Oh no. No, no, no. This, no. Enhance! Okay. Enhance! Enhance! They forgot the loot! These unclipped plate mount stabilizers are bone dry. Like, they. There's these little droplets of lube they put on the stabilizer housing insert, so it's technically lubed because there's lube on it, but man, 
it does absolutely nothing to increase smoothness or reduce rattle. These are among the scratchiest, rattliest stabilizers I have ever had the displeasure of using. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, first, I think the wavy design is really nice. I really like the wavy design on the keycaps. And I didn't notice it at first, but the waves on the keycap actually connect at the end and beginning of another keycap on the bottom row, which I thought was just, I thought that was really cool. Um, okay, however, the legends on the wavy keycaps are inconsistent in both thickness and positioning. It looks like they just slapped it onto the keycap. And there's this weird saturation disparity from the top of the keycap to the sides. Like when you see it, you you can't unsee it anymore. They also bleed light like crazy, especially through that space bar. The main alphas are a lot better. The legends are a lot crisper and more consistent in their thickness and positioning. And these are a bit thicker than your normal gamery keycaps. They have a nice subtle grippiness, but they have the same problem that a lot of these cheap double shot keycaps have in terms of the connecting O type letters and numbers where you can see it doesn't connect properly. So you get these kind of like dark spots, which look kind of inconsistent when you shine those LEDs through them. The grippy wasp keycaps are grippy <laughs> i you know it's got that kind of grippy rubber texture and the actual engraved waves also adds to a bit of that i'd say the keycaps on this board are a bit of a step up from your normal gamery keyboard but it's still like a 25 dollar aftermarket keycap set yeah i'm still waiting for the rest of that 180 dollars in value but Ooh, yeah. the felix board pcb comes with a whole host of features like rgb and Bluetooth wireless 5.0 with a 2000 milliamp battery. It's not even funny, no, I'm laughing. I like Bluetooth, I, I love Bluetooth. And it was really straightforward to connect to my computer. This keyboard also has per key RGB via SMD LEDs, which can be adjusted to do a range of RGB things like static colors and breathing colors and whatever the heck this is called. And oh, I can turn it off, lovely. <laughs> However, north facing LEDs means that you're going to run into interference with your cherry profile keycaps. So no kids, don't put your GMKs on here. There's a bunch of built in hotkeys and shortcuts like menu and onboard macro functionality, which was an absolute pain to use. There is no software support. The booklet explaining all of this stuff sucks. There is no QMK support, no VIA support. So in every sense, a very lacking PCB. Ooh, yeah. This is a $50 GK61 with a $50 aluminum aftermarket case, which I paid $230 for. Yay. Unfortunately, instead of getting an ultra premium keyboard without the ultra premium price tag, you get an ultra standard keyboard with an ultra bloated price hey! tag. Hey! Who are you? You! are being way too harsh on this keyboard. It's no, seriously, keyboard. who you are you and how do you with my decent stabilizers, they're all trash. That's such a low blow. Oh, okay, but that must be like one of those expensive- It's a hundred bucks. Ah! Are you okay? <sighs> okay, 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 but you can't fine. build an all aluminium. What is that? Oh, oh, this, yeah, it, it's just my PewDiePie inspired keyboard. Keycaps of red Japanese sub legends to match PewDiePie's weeabooness. It also has clipped and new PCB mod stabilizers, a carbon fiber plate, and all these creams, and a red case. Right, but how much does that cost? About $180. But that has a low profile case. The PewDiePie keyboard has a high profile case, so. Oh, like this, this high profile and denser case with a stainless steel weight. Yeah, just add 20, $25. Oh, but, okay, I want Hot Top and RGB and, and Bluetooth. Awesome, just get a GK61X PCB, add an extra $15. <laughs> Cherry MX Browns, I want Cherry MX Browns just like the PewDiePie keyboard. For sure, yeah, just subtract $20. Super effective. Right, at the end of the day, this is still a keyboard that will do keyboard things for you. So if you really love those wavy, wavy keycaps, or you are a diehard PewDiePie fan, then go for it. But honestly, this is a pretty small PP keyboard. Bad meme.